Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. What's going on? What's up, everybody? Hello. Hey, everybody. Hello, what's up? Another beautiful Monday, you know? Yeah, beautiful for in tornado season right now. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. How we doing? Good, how you doing? I'm well. Doing well. What's going on, everybody? Hey, Carlos, what's up? Hi. Hey. Hey, everyone. Happy Monday, what's happening? I, I, I got too much sauce. That's why it be dripping out. Oh. Question for you, Sebastian. What's up? At what point did you guys bring um, on employees, or I guess how many at a time? Uh, you know what? It, I I don't know. It was one day stickering in the warehouse where I realized that I could be making a lot more money for the company in front of a computer than putting stickers on products. Okay. So I and I had the cash flow and capability to you know bring some one person in without having to worry about it for even a month if I didn't sell any product because you know we, and along we, came Eric we established already. I didn't hear Carlos. I'm sure he said that. Eric, Eric, Eric wasn't Eric. getting paid. Eric wasn't getting paid then. Eric, yeah, he got paid. I paid him in goldfish. And now, <laughs> that's what we both got paid. I, Listen, didn't, I didn't take any money out the company for the first two years. And pretzel peanut butter bites from, from yeah, uh, Costco. Listen, listen, I don't want to hear from a anybody ever complaining because when I used to sticker products in a warehouse for $13 an hour. So like, I, I, yeah, what it takes, you know? And Sebastian, he didn't, he didn't even take any money, any profit from the business for what, 18 months at least, other than putting some gas in his car. We're not even in the car, in the bus, and then, and then food on the table, so. Two years, two years. First yeah, time I years. took money out was when I, when I got the car for myself, which was about two years. And the first year I worked with, with Sebastian, my father would drop me off uh, uh, like two miles from the warehouse and I would walk. <laughs> I would walk to his warehouse. And then I moved to my own apartment and I had to take two buses and then walk two miles to get to work every single day. And All I right, did Now you sound like a 90 year old man. <laughs> I know, I'm gonna say. <laughs> Back in <laughs> my <laughs> day. Every day. To the, to the Amazon business. Uphill. To the Amazon. To the asshole deep to a 10 foot Indian. Nah, but we don't, the, the, the point is I agree with Derek 100%. Like what, I just roll my eyes when I hear excuses. For the first two years of the business, practically, I didn't even have a car. I, I, got, I got a warehouse and I would walk to it. Right. Yeah, I love it. Why am I going to put money into a car when I can put money into products that are going to make more money for us in the long run? Yeah. Was it contingent off of like, I guess, a numbers game though? Like, okay, so once we hit this milestone, um, I think that it would be valuable to... Uh, I think I think the best way to look at it is the, uh, how you value your time, right? So right now, initially, for the first couple weeks or even month, it might make more sense for you to do it because you're going to gain the experience, you're going to know how to train an employee, and you're going to become a better Amazon buyer purchaser business owner right and then once you get a hang of it and you realize well I could pay someone 13 14 dollars an hour to do this and I could be bringing it in, in product then you're like okay let me bring that person in you looking for a job Eric <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, rate, my rate has went up by like a thousand percent though or five thousand so like a bunch of goldfish <laughs> A bunch of gold. And then uh, last, or my other question was, um, and again, if you're not comfortable answering this, that's fine too. I know that at one point I heard you guys have the NDA, which I think is super brilliant. Do you have in there a non-compete at some point? If you have an employee, you would put like a non-compete. So essentially where they would come in and obviously see all the ropes and see all the products and blase blase. And then they're like, dude, screw this. I can go and start this up myself. Wouldn't the NDA keep for that though? Yeah, I mean, yes and no, but not compete. It's like at the end of the day, they could. If they wanted to do it, they're going to do it. Yeah, I think a much better approach is to give them an environment where they don't want to leave. Hey, if if they do want to leave, then maybe something, I mean, it could be something with them, but typically I like to look at myself. And so it's something wrong here. And then that means how productive are my people being that work with me. I give them an environment where everyone's happy, they're laughing and they're busting their ass working. And you know, they want it as bad as I want it because everyone wins. Great, great call. Another great call. Appreciate all of you. Yeah. Absolutely. So if you got any questions, hit us in the Facebook group and uh, we'll see you all next week. Same time, same place. Hey, doll. All right. Hey. Have a good evening. Yeah. Good night. I'll see Thanks. you at the top. Good night, good night. everyone. Hey, lit.